250. If you look at his yeah. tournament shot data on his drives, most of his drives are in the low 150s. Mm. And most of them are better than mine because he has better spin and better lawn. Well, we can fix that. Yep. Here goes nothing. Man, did you ever launch oh. it that? And did not get onto my left side. Every time. You cannot play good golf off your right foot. <laughs> Except for you. Yeah. That guy actually, he does all right off his right foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I hit so many freaking balls. I just figured out how to make it work. How soon after he made that comment did he amend his comment? <laughs> it was like two holes later. <laughs> actually. But don't do what he does. <laughs> Oh. That was terrible. Bad balance, bad everything. This is going to be a pitching wedge. Think about hitting the ball. <sighs> Solid swing. It's not starting off well. This is a tough course. Back swings on it to par. To par four, I'm about to hit my fourth stroke. Maybe I can hold it. From 18 yards down a hill. Oh! Pretty good. Bogey. All things considered, not a bad bogey. Starting off at one over. <sighs> Hit a better drive. <laughs> oh no. Looks like you're gonna hit some sand here. Hooky. Started it left and hooked it. That's not gonna do it. Do I have lip trouble? I'm not gonna get there anyway. to go for it. Hybrid? No, it was my four iron. Carried my four iron like a five iron. 
and I hooked it. See, that's the thing that I really want to try to cut. What's that? Hitting the ground on my driver. <laughs> In the rough, but close to the ground. not good. Chip this on and cut. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe you see that guy and just swing higher above the ground. Then I, then I skyball it. One or the other. But not if you swing higher, so that you don't hit the ground. Yeah, but I can't do it consistently. Or, not consistently enough. Bogey, bogey, start. Third hole coming up. Take your best shot. All right, nice, smooth, nice, smooth five iron. Nice and smooth got me my distance. Carried at 170 something. There you go. That's my 5 iron carry. That's a good 5 iron carry. That's um... That's what I used to carry my 5 iron. Until I went on vacation. I came back got and all, I was carrying it. Got all diesel. Got all slow from, from dumbbells. It is either the dumbbells or the running. I'm not. I'm still not entirely sure which. But it's been two weeks and I haven't run. But I have lifted dumbbells and it's still here. So I'm hoping it's the dumbbells because I do not want to run like that. <laughs> well, I haven't lifted in forever. I'm. I'm actually uh, just today recovered from the pull-ups that I did this weekend. <laughs> Stupid 20 pull-ups. I tell you, the dude that brought the pull-up bar, so he brought it and we started doing pull-ups and you know, we were like, oh, let's see how many we can do at one time. So I knocked out 20. He knocked out 20, but he wasn't going all the way down. Mm hmm. Cheater. Yep. Oh, come on. Whoa, yeah. Going somewhere fast. Good one. And, uh, so I do three more sets of 10 after my 20. Right. And I mean, how do you do? And he does, he gets up to 100. Now we are looking at around 185 yards to the pin. Because my stamina just sucks. Well, 50 is good. Although I did 100 one time at work. Throughout the day? Uh, it, within an hour. Because it's part of like the Murph or whatever it's called, or Stanley or some dude's name. So, after 50, I took a nap with the kids. And after I woke up, I tried to do another 10. Because he was like, oh, I'm up to like 70 or something. I was like, alright, let me get another 10. I tried to do the first one, and I couldn't even like, go up more couldn't than do it. Yeah. I was done. I was Muscles had broken down by then. Completely dead. But I don't know if it's because they took a nap or what. No, it's just the time elapsed since then and your body started to break down. Oh no, I hit it right. I never hit it right. Could be in the rough here. Looks like a pretty good swing. It was alright. Nice easy nice easy smooth one. But I came over the top a little bit, I guess. I was trying to do that intentionally in my warm-up because I always hook the ball. Alright, I'm going to chip this one in. 
Oh, it's too hard. Oh, it's not hard. It's good. Okay. All right. You first par? No, second par. Par par. Okay. Bogey, bogey, par par. You at two over for the round. All right. Let's let her rip. All right. So this is. This is not a four iron to me, I don't think. But a hybrid might be too much. Let's see. Where's my three iron? not left it would have been okay a decent distance on it everybody ends up here sometime uh, take this as a learning opportunity hi I'm ready for my show tomorrow. I'm ready for your show. I'm trying to get uh, my rematch. Okay, we're about 17 feet up. I wanted another crack at it. Oh, you're playing uh, Trump tomorrow? Yeah. For work? Yeah. Uh, game golf, that sucker. Yeah. Just me and another guy. You and one other guy? Mm hmm. In your office? No, I sell my sales coverage it's from from Richmond. Oh, red too much break. Or hit it too hard. Another bogey. Didn't get my up. close enough. <coughs> I think in my practice round, I was splicing on my drives, and then I get to this hole, and say, like, oh, a splice would work here. And then of course I pull it left. Hit the slice. Maybe too much. A little too much. A little too much. A little too much. I have an angle. I have an angle. <clears throat> Keep rolling. Okay, we're about 17 feet out here. I'm gonna get my ball marking thing. I have a chance of birdie here. Yeah, get one back. That's a little short. Okay, so 
I'll keep you all right, all right. over for the round. Boogie boogie par par par. No. Uh, boogie uh, boogie. Uh, boogie. Par 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 boogie par. All right. So half half boogie go. Power fade. Nice. Should be in the fairway. Not what I meant for. Hit it off the heel. Right into the bouquet. But that's the advantage of trying to hit it straight. Like a straight path. Because if your face is one way or the other, then it's not, not terrible. Right. But then you have like a two-way miss. Yeah. Just a slight two-way miss. Well, you hope it's slight. Two decent shots in a row. Sending you on the green. I am a sand wedge away. Oh, pop Yeah. <coughs> if I hit that sand wedge 90 something, it's 87. I see it up. And it's a spin back, right? So. The full sand should be just a little easier than the full sand. Oh, not if I hook it. I think this is going to need to bite. Oh, no. Where are you going, ball? I'm going to have like a 50-foot putt. I don't know if we talked about this, but I left my putting um, cover at your house. Yeah, you did. Okay. I thought you did. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Not bad speed for that. I left it a foot short. For a 50 foot putt? Take it all day. Yeah, that's that's the that's the distance where I blast it right on through. Take your best shot. Still three over through eight. Not terrible. Not great. Okay. Fair way. Not, not great swing speed, but or not great ball speed, but whatever. This is where I really struggle. The uh, the clean, like not a full lob, and not like a not a chip. Mm-hmm. Forty, fifty, sixty. I need to practice this more. Oh, left! Beauty. What the pros would say is that they never leave this. Unlucky. I take back. They I'm never leave what? They never leave themselves this distance. Like, off the tee, they would have played for 100 or whatever, you know? Oh. Uh, guess that makes sense. But I wanted to hit driver. Yeah. Because who wants to take like a six iron and then botch it? Go in! <coughs> no. 
Another would have been, that would have been nice to have that one go. <laughs> okay, so that'll keep you at three over for the round. Let's have a nice drive out on this one. I don't know who Terry Chogan is, but that dude's a sandbagger. How's that? Because he was like, he was around me and you for a long time on his handicap. All of a sudden he's killing it. Come back. Oh, yeah. Come back. Thought I hit that left. Gave me a little fade on it. Saved my butt. All right. Uh, we're right around 165 yards out. All right. So, I should probably hit a 7 iron. Doesn't look like it's on the fairway, but it's alright. Stop. Go left. Up ahead. I had the right distance. Huh. I carried that one 156. I wasn't even trying to swing hard. It's good seven. That was my six iron sometimes. Hmm. It's the blades. <laughs> I think it's the leg action. I noticed I kept my balance. Oh, I bladed it. Oh, no. <sighs> All right. Oh, geez. Not the side to be on. Not enough. Not hard oh, no. to take the slope. Oh no. I did that a couple of times in the practice round. On this hole? I just I just remember it happening on this course. Thirty one feet to the hole. Thirty one feet. With a foot uphill. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. Get close. Man, I have to putt again. No, not close enough. It's, you have to be within seven, right? Okay, let's see what Level you can six. do with eight footer. Yeah, it's six, but I never see a seven footer. Yeah, true. So if you're within seven, I think they easily just let you have it. Oh no! I killed it. You were supposed to be slightly uphill. Good enough. And after nine, you're not All right, I'm going to bed. I think you right, Good luck. Have fun in Chicago. Yeah, it's all work. Joyce going too? Yeah. At least it'll be the best. Sunday. I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, okay. Bye, man. All right.